The meetings geared towards ensuring optimal performance of the Ministry of Roads and Bridges in implementing budgetary provisions approved for the Ministry in the 2022 budget. Chairman of the House Standing Committee on Roads and Bridges, who is also a former Speaker of the House, Francis Okie said the interaction with the Ministry follows a matching order given earlier by the Speaker, Marcus Onobun, for the Ministry to deliver on its mandate. Mr. Okie said beyond the oversight functions on the Ministry, the meeting is preparatory to inspection of roads and bridges across the three senatorial districts for on the spot assessment. Our natural mandate to carry out oversight function as one of our responsibility. We have a matching order by the speaker that uh, all the committees should uh, be up and doing so that we'll be able to be part of uh, the 2023 budget that will soon be brought to the house. So for us in the Bruce and Bridges, we feel that we're doing it in through this process to help us get uh, to the root of what we want. Addressing the committee, a Dust State Commissioner for Roads and Bridges, Engineer Nitsi Nokoje said the Benin Eboma Road has become a nightmare to road users. He said the state government is currently working with the Minister of Works and Control of Works in the state to find a lasting solution to the problem. He appealed to road users to exercise patience as the perennial flooding on the road is still posing a challenge. Benin Eboma Road, as we all know, is a federal road and uh, we are working together with the Federal Controller of Works and the Honorable Minister of Works to ensure that we come up with a permanent solution for that road. The major issue is the issue of flooding and uh, the state government on its own has commissioned a consultant that has come up with a design to drain that road. It's a 14 kilometer stretch that is really the major problem and we have drained that 14 kilometer stretch to Emuhiri a lake. That is the design we have on ground, now, which we have transmitted to the federal government already. And we have gotten a commitment from them that they are, going, they are very willing to fund that project. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.